war. War ever changed. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Hon, you look as good as the day we met. I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Hey, hon. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Ah, good morning, Mum. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> huh. More of the same. Now, oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Next week.
Today's forecast, we have a high of 52 on Monday. But also fear our troops stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold. Good morning, vault calling. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No, oh. <clears throat> you do. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh, just go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let them fill it out, and it's done. I think you forgot what no means. Fine. I'll do it myself. Stubborn. Splendid! Splendid. Let's get to it. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Oh, right, the park, with you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with what our flight stations. Oh, no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. <laughs> 